Hey, blessed, beautiful morning, beautiful day, Grateful Gap family. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday here on the Grateful Gap podcast. About to get directly to the daily verse before I get into the wellness topic for today. Daily verse for the date of September 6, 2023, derived from the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verses 12 through 13, and it states as follows. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing, uh, excuse me, I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne, and the books were opened, including the book of life, and the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all were judged according to their deeds. And again, it's from the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verses 12 through 13. And this morning for Wellness Wednesday, um, I'll be getting to the topic of fasting. I'll be getting information from Healthline.com. Again, I'll be getting the information from Healthline.com. So I encourage you all to come check out the article by yourself. The article will be covering eight health benefits of fasting. Um, and I'm about to get directly into it. So again, Healthline.com is where I receive this information. So make sure you check it out. And again, it's eight healthy benefits of fasting. Fasting may provide several health benefits, including weight loss, Improved blood sugar control, excuse me, improved blood sugar control, and decreased inflammation. It might also offer protection against certain conditions like cancer and neurodegenerative disorders. Despite its recent surge in popularity, fasting is a practice that dates back centuries and plays a central role in many cultures and religions. Defined as the after, ten, after sense from all or some foods or drinks for a set period of time, there are many different ways of fasting. In general, most types of fast are performed over 24 to 72 hours. Intermittent fasting, on the other hand, involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting, ranging from a few hours to a few days at a time. Fasting has been shown to have many health benefits from increased weight loss to better brain function. Here are eight health benefits of fasting backed by science. One, promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance. Several studies have found that fasting may improve blood sugar control, which could be especially useful for those at risk of diabetes. In fact, one study in 10 people with type 2 diabetes showed that short-term intermittent fasting significantly decreased blood sugar levels. Meanwhile, another 2014 review found that both intermittent fasting and alternate day fasting were as effective as limiting calorie intake at reducing insulin resistance. Decreasing insulin resistance can increase your blood sensitivity to insulin, allowing it to transport glucose from your bloodstream to your cells more efficiently. Coupled with the potential blood sugar lowering effects of fasting, this could help your This could help keep your blood sugar steady, preventing spikes and crashes in your blood sugar levels. 2. Promote better health by fighting inflammation. While acute inflammation is a normal immune process used to help fight off infections, chronic inflammation can have serious consequences for your health. Research shows that inflammation may be involved in the development of chronic conditions such as heart disease, cancer, and rheumatoid arthritis. Three, fasting may enhance heart health by improving blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Heart disease is considered the leading cause of death around the world, accounting for an estimated 31.5% of deaths globally. Switching up your diet and lifestyle is one of the most effective ways to reduce your risk of heart disease. Some research has found that incorporating fasting into your routine may be especially beneficial when it comes to heart health. One review revealed that alternate day fasting could reduce levels of total cholesterol and several risk factors for heart disease in people with overweight compared to a control group. In addition, one older study in 4,629 people associated fasting with a lower risk of coronary artery disease 
as well as a significantly lower risk of diabetes, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. And again, make sure y'all come to, uh, come check out this article for yourself. Get, get, you know, like I said, you know, I, I mess up words, so you might not understand what I'm saying effectively for yourself. So just come and check out the article yourself, and uh, you know, so you can look over it, listen to it at the same time, whatever you want to do. Four, fasting may boost brain function and prevent neurodegenerative disorders. Though research is mostly limited to animal research, several studies have found that fasting could have a powerful effect on brain health. One study in 2013 in mice showed that practicing intermittent fasting for 11 months improved both brain function and brain structure. In particular, studies in animals suggest that fasting may protect against and improve outcomes for conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's. Five, fasting aids weight loss by limiting calorie intake and boosting metabolism. Many dieters experiment with fasting to try to lose weight. Theoretically, abstaining from all or certain foods and beverages should decrease your overall calorie intake, which could lead to increased weight loss over time. Some research Oh, I'm going to read this one. In fact, one review showed that whole day fasting could reduce body weight up by up to 9% and significantly decrease body fat over the 12 to 4 weeks. Another review found that intermittent fasting was actually more effective in inducing weight loss compared to continuous calorie restriction. In addition, other research has found that fasting may lead to greater reductions in body fat and belly fat compared to continuous calorie restriction. Six, fasting increases growth hormone secretion, which is vital for growth, metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. Human growth hormones is a type of protein hormone that is central to many aspects of your health. In fact, research shows that this key hormone is involved in metabolism, weight loss, and muscle growth. Several studies have found that fasting could naturally increase hormone growth uh, excuse me, human growth hormone levels significantly. Plus, fasting may help maintain steady blood sugar and insulin levels throughout the day, which may further optimize levels of human growth he- hormones as some research has found that insulin can influence the secretion of human growth hormones. Seven. Fasting could extend longevity. And one study showed that rats that fasted lived 28% longer and developed disease later, later than rats that were given unlimited access to food. Other research has turned up similar findings reporting that fasting could be effective in increasing longevity and delaying disease. However, current research is most limited, mostly limited to animal studies. Further studies are needed to understand how fast they may impact longevity and aging in humans. Eight, fasting may aid in cancer prevention and increase the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Animal and test tube studies indicate that fasting may benefit the treatment and prevention of cancer. In fact, one older rat study found that alternate day fasting helped block tumor formation. Other research in test tubes and animals suggest that fasting could reduce the progression of tumors and increase the effectiveness of chemotherapy. And as like you said on here as well, um, most some some of these facts or you know ways of, of fasting how they could be beneficial aren't proven to be as reliable in humans yet as they are in animals. But like I said, you know we kind of know it's the same principles apply especially they're, they're trying them on they're doing research on mammals which have you know kind, you know breathe like us have organs all those type of things so um the, the benefits of fasting are definitely you know at a, at a high level i would say one um clears your spiritual you know um gets to get you spiritually enlightened clear your mind type of thing um again as you as, as i've read helps with you know blood sugar levels it watches out what we intake, you know, we kind of, you know, it's almost kind of like, you know, they were talking about calorie, uh, calorie restriction, restriction, stuff like that, what you watch and what you eat, those type of things. But with fasting, it's like, you know, you can still have those same type of mindsets, but if you're eating less already, 
and if you have the mindset to be able to watch you know, be mindful of what you're eating and watching what your calories you're gonna i like say lose more weight you're gonna feel healthier you're gonna feel lighter you know feel the sensation of that secretion you know forming in your body that type of stuff so again healthline.com is where i got this information so make sure y'all like comment subscribe all um, in the podcast platforms make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the first nfl full week it's official. NFL season kicks off tomorrow night on Thursday night football. So make sure y'all tune in to the Sports Hotel tomorrow to get an updated um, sports information. And again, to be here for the week, the week one opener of the NFL, man, it's, it's finally here. I'm truly excited. Um, so make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. Check me out on Twitter and grateful on, on, at grateful underscore gab. Check me out on Instagram at grateful gab podcast. Check out my YouTube channel also at grateful gab podcast. Check me out on Wisdom also at Grateful Gap, and um, it's the Wisdom app. Check me out at, on Grateful Gap. I'm still on there. I'm looking to get more active here in the next couple of weeks on, on on the Wisdom app again, so make sure y'all tune in. And other than that, Grateful Gap family, give God glory for today. Thank you, Father God, for today. I pray and ask that today is the best day because of today, Father God. Thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done. Continue to cover the world in the blood of Jesus, and we thank you, Father God. Continue to bless the world, cover us, Keep us in your armor, Lord. Continue to give us supplies with the armor and the tools to be able to, we need to be able to fight against the enemy, Lord. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, and before I go, I want to be able to send my condolences to Hugh Douglas and the um, Ellis family, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Um, give me one second. They lost their sons um, in a horrific car accident this, this past, um, this past, Labor Day weekend, so I, like I said, I definitely want to be able to send uh, my wishes and, and you know my condolences out to the families of those gentlemen. Again, uh, Hugh Douglas' son, former Eagle player, and it was um, let, me, let me make sure I'm getting I'm getting in that, the, the gentleman's name correct. Okay, you got the piece. Let me see the name. Hold on. Oh, so excuse me, Files, excuse me, and Christian Files Jr. So the Files family, not the Ellis, excuse me, excuse me, Lord, for that. So yeah, the Files family and the Hughes family, again, um, just cover them, Father God, send them your love um, and, and understanding and, you know, send the people around them to be able to lift them up and give them strength and send your strength as well, Lord. Thank you. Again, thank you for their lives and um, give those parents understanding and, you know, um, long live their souls. And their spirits may they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Until next time, great for family. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow again for the sports hotel. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed out there. Have a great today. Peace.